Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm super excited to show you guys this 2022 F-150. But this isn't your typical F-150 that's like an XLT Super Crew or anything like that. This is a XL four-wheel drive Super Cab and that's it. This one has no options whatsoever. It even has roll-up windows. So I really want to show you guys what this uh, base model F-150 offers. So let's go ahead and start here in the front. You have a black plastic grill. Um, obviously on a lot of Ford trucks, the base models have black plastic grills. We have just halogen headlights and turn signals. No fog lights or anything like that. This one is a 3.3 V6. So that's another reason why I'm excited for this video because I've never driven the 10 speed in this engine. So I'm really excited to show you guys what this looks like. Sorry about my shadow. I tried to find a good spot in the sun here. See, we have these base model wheels here, 265, 70, 17s. They're the Steelys. Some people like Steelys. Some people like just, you know, the nicer looking rims, but yeah, there it is. Base model F-150. You obviously got the black plastic on the mirror caps right here and on the door handles, of course. This one doesn't even have power locks either. So if you guys get a base model work truck, I highly recommend getting the 101A package. It's like 2000 or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. But it comes with uh, power locks, uh, power uh, windows and all that stuff. So uh, this one is like the bare, bare minimum. Looking at the back here, we have a black bumper here. It's a metal bumper. It's backup camera, of course. And then uh, the tailgate is manual locking. It's not power locking like on the higher end ones. And then just standard bolts for all your tail lights, turn signal, brake, and reverse light. This one is four-wheel drive. But let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what that 3.3 looks like. All right, guys, just pop the hood here. You can see there's no hood liner on this one. The higher-end trucks do have a hood liner. There's that 3.3 naturally aspirated V6. That's what it looks like. There's a lot of room around it, obviously. Look at all this room in the front. So there's a lot of room to work on this engine if you ever need to. And being naturally aspirated, it should be very reliable. But it's just crazy the amount of room in here. I just want to show you guys. Look at all that room. So this is probably going to be a very easy to service engine. Uh, let's check the MPG. Let's look at the window sticker here. And when I said it's base, look, no options whatsoever. It's, just, it's literally just a four wheel drive super crew or super cab, sorry, F-150. 38,850, MPG is 19 city, 22 highway, 20 combined. Um, I'll admit is not all that great. I mean, the 5.0 is kind of similar and then the 2.7 is way better. But for those who want just a naturally aspirated simple engine, this is a good engine. This engine makes 290 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. All right, guys, hopping inside the truck, like I said, no smart key access or anything. And you have to use that keyhole to lock the door because there's no power locks. Open up the door here. You can see we have a hard touch door panel right here. It is hard touch right here as well. Roll up windows. And there's no sort of power mirror controls, power windows, anything like that. So the mirrors are manually adjusting. Looking at the seat, we have no power adjustments, obviously. All we have is just forward, backward, and then we have uh, the recline right here. There's your lighting controls. You still have the electronic parking brake, and you still have the third brake light, obviously. Got a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. But let's go ahead and hop inside here. All right, guys, on this base model truck, you don't even have the Ford uh, switchblade. You have this old school style key. So I know some, uh, some of the old school guys will really like this because you have to do the good old fashioned uh, turn the key to start the truck. Oh. Gauges still look really nice though. These are the same gauges that you get on an STX. You can go through a bunch of uh, settings here. It's a little bit laggy on uh, STX and XL trucks, but um, it still looks cool and everything. I'll put it up on that one. Looking in the middle, all trucks come standing with Sync 4, which is really nice. And let's see what driver's assist tech this one has. This one has lane keeping system, pre-collision assist, and rear view camera, and then the driver alert, all standard. And you can also turn on auto hold, but I personally don't like that feature. Then you also have a backup camera up here. Pretty good backup camera. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason on the higher end trucks, it looks a little bit nicer, but it looks still good nonetheless. And you got your auto start stop up there, your hazards and your trash control. Coming down here, all manual climate control. Uh, you have your four wheel drive switch right here. Um, and you also have drive modes, which is really nice. So at least base model trucks do have uh, drive modes, you can see there. 
tow haul, eco, sport, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and put it back in normal there. You have two USBs and then a little, oh. Wow, that came off uh, really easy. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. There we go. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder what this is for. Maybe you can hang stuff on there. Got a little storage down there. This one has the third seat option. So you can lift this up as a third seat. And then you also have um, some storage underneath the seat. Lift it up like that. Some storage under there. But I like to keep the seat folded down, obviously. To have an armrest. It is soft and everything. But you can't open this upper part right here. So that's kind of weird. Can't open it up. But it is soft. And then you have a little place to put your phone. Um, there's no cover on the upper lids. I think they took that out for 22. So it just says F-150 right there. On these baser trucks, that is. I think on Lariat and above, it still has the cover. And then uh, got your glove box. You have a 12 volt over here. And more USBs. So you're really covered as far as USBs are concerned. Looking up top, we have LED lighting. Uh, no vanity mirrors or obviously no illumination either. Okay, looks like there's one on this side. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see how I fit behind myself at 6'5 in a super cab. All right, guys, to open up the back doors of these F 150s like this, you have to pull this with the front door open and you can slide it over. Wow, that's kind of interesting. The seat belt's on the door like that. Or actually, I have no idea what this is for. Wait, there's a seat belt right here. What is this one for? Oh, that's for the driver. I'm stupid. Okay. Um, so the back seat of super cabs don't have a whole bunch of room. It's kind of like uh, the back seat of a Ranger. You have two USBs and a 12 volt. So they still have you covered back here, even on this base model. But uh, there's not a whole bunch of room. So let's see if I can fit back here. Okay, obviously not. But if the seat is up farther and you're a little bit shorter, you should be able to fit. You can see there's with all the doors open. Before we take this truck for a spin, let's go ahead and check out the bed real quick. Go ahead and open it up like that. Obviously, it's not dampened or anything like that. You still have those uh, cool clamps on the side that can double as bottle openers. No LED lighting, obviously. You can see there. This one is a six and a half foot bed. So it has quite a bit of room in there. And uh, I'll look online to see what the towing capability is, but this one doesn't even have a trailer hitch on it. So that's, uh, that's a little interesting. I thought all F-150s came with trailer hitches. And the payload on this truck is 1838. So it has pretty good payload. But let's take this truck for a spin because I wanna see how this 3.3 10 speed combo drives. Alrighty, here we go. This is really fun to use. <laughs> I like using that. But anyway, let's get going here. Manual mirrors, so how you're gonna have to adjust it. This is how you have to adjust your mirrors if you're inside your truck. You go over here, roll the window down, and you need to press on it. Like that. <laughs> that is very old school, so I do recommend that uh, that upgrade package on the XL if you want to go with a base model. Well, let's get going here. Okay. At low speeds, it feels the same as all the other V6 engines because we haven't done anything yet. And one thing to note is that on these uh, base model trucks, even on STXs, you can't adjust the seat up and down, so you're kind of st stuck in a, like, upper position which is good for short people and it's fine for me too because i have so much headroom in this truck because there's no sunroof but um just keep in mind that you can't adjust it up and down so you're kind of in a set position all right guys we're about to turn off onto the street here let's see how this uh truck performs very smooth engine actually very smooth Step on it a little bit here. Wow, this engine is super smooth. I mean, it's probably because it has a naturally aspirated power band, but wow, very smooth engine. I mean, it doesn't have lots of power. I mean, the 2.7 is a huge difference and it's only like a thousand or so dollars more. So obviously it's worth it to get the 2.7, but 
this one uh this one is a very very good engine at least it seems like it's a good engine i don't know about towing and all that stuff or going up steep grades but okay yeah so you can definitely tell that it doesn't have a whole bunch of torque and you kind of want torque in a truck the turning radius is pretty good on this truck as well got a gt500 that just started up over there right, let's go ahead and park this truck let's go ahead and test out that backup cam one more time Ooh, gt500 sounding really good and right on the line boop there we go so yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think of this base model truck. And it is still available as of this video. So if you guys live in the Vegas area, feel free to contact me if you want to pick up this truck. This uh, base model truck, if you're tired of spending 70 grand for a pickup truck, you want a base one. I mean, here's what you get. It's still an F-150. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this truck in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.